Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about private email services. Um, some of the ones that I am going to talk about are Hushmail, ProtonMail, Startmail, uh, Tutanota, for example. And uh, just want to give you a brief rundown of why I think these services are important and why I recommend using them. Uh, first of all, if you're using a Gmail account, um, and specifically I'm talking about Gmail as far as the privacy implications go, um, but accounts like Yahoo, Hotmail, um, and other email accounts may actually uh, you know, compromise your privacy in ways that you may not consider. So if you're using Gmail, um, you can send to uh, Google scanning the contents of your emails and uh, you know, tracking other things about the people you're communicating with and what you're discussing in your emails. So Google can use the information in your emails to determine your interests and uh, can also uh, track other things like um, airline flights, uh, credit card purchases, and other things through your email. Um, so I have a problem with this because I think if you're communicating with someone through email, you have an expectation that uh, your email will only be seen by you and the person that you send it to, the person whose email address goes in the you know, to bar. Um, when your email service itself is scanning your uh, email inbox for different information to uh, target ads or whatever Google or your email service provider may scan for, you know, that that's a breach of your privacy. And if you're going to continue to use Gmail, Google is going to continue to collect this information, compile it with the other information that it's able to collect from you. Um, and I have a problem with that. So I recommend using private email services like ProtonMail, Startmail, Tutanota, um, Hushmail is another one. Um, and these services work just like regular email providers like Gmail, you know, it works the same. You just log into your email address or to your email account. Uh, you have an inbox, you can send emails as normal with file attachments and however you want to do that. Um, but these services will protect your communications, one, by not scanning the contents of your emails. Um, and then two, they often use encryption to keep the contents of your email secure um, so that only you can read them and the person that you send it to can read them. Um, and this is important because um, if at any point down the road, if Google gets hacked or uh, decides to use that information against you, they totally can do that because they've collected and stored that information. But these privacy focused email services uh, they, one, either don't store that information or two, completely encrypt and protect the contents of your emails so that there's no way they could access that information. The only person that can access it is the person you send it to. Um, and another reason I'd recommend these products is if you're using a Gmail account, uh, you're just playing into Google's business model. You're just providing another outlet for them to collect information from you and about you uh, in your emails, and they're just going to use that information to make more money with targeted advertising. It's not really benefiting you. And they may sell it to you saying that, you know, there's convenience and them scanning your email contents because they're able to, uh, you know, determine the contents of your email and sort them or whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, they're still invading your privacy and using your information to make more money for their company. So I just recommend trying out these private email services. Uh, there's many free options out there. I'll include a link in the description uh, to an article that explains you know, some different services and how they work and what their different features are. Um, but I just, I recommend you trying them out uh, because you'll probably notice that they're very simple and easy to use and it can make a big different difference as far as protecting your communications on the internet. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned a little bit today.